Have you ever wished that you could just stamp a tattoo onto your body and be done with it? No pain, no hours sitting in a tattoo shop. You just press and go and you have a new tattoo in minutes. Today we are talking about the new patch tattoo technique developed by researchers at Georgia Tech that might make press on painless tattoos a reality. If you're new here, my name is Sal EST. I'm on a journey towards becoming a tattoo artist myself, and I make tattoo related content right here every week. So today we are talking about microneedling, which already exists as a cosmetic procedure. And microneedling has been around for a while and actually was developed back in 1995, which just happens to be my favorite year. It's the year I was born. But in the last five or so years, there's been a lot of development and research into microneedling, so it's definitely becoming a lot more popular now. Essentially, microneedling is a process of making microscopic punctures into the skin in order to encourage development of collagen, which helps with scars, acne, sun damage, wrinkles, and stretch marks. The needles range from about 0.5 to 2.5 millimeters in length, so the cuts are very superficial and they should really only be entering the very top layer of skin. If you've ever seen or heard anyone talk about getting like a blood facial or a vampire facial, this is what microneedling is, sometimes with the addition of the patient's own blood, which sounds really crazy and it looks even crazier. Like there's no way I can even show a photo up on screen of what this looks like, but apparently the procedure is pretty minimally invasive. So how does this translate to press on tattoos? According to the researchers at Georgia Tech, they have developed a low-cost, painless, and bloodless tattoo patch that can be self-administered. And according to Mark Prausnitz, who is the principal investigator for the research paper, for years, Mark's team was working on microneedling patches that had medicine inside them, and then they were pressed on a patient's skin and the medicine was administered into the skin. But Mark thought, why don't we put tattoo ink into this patch and get all of these patients tatted up instead? I feel like Mark and I think alike. And Mark said that this could make tattooing more accessible. So Mark said, quote, While some people are willing to accept the pain and time required for a tattoo, we thought others might prefer a tattoo that is simply pressed onto the skin and does not hurt. I feel like this is really just a nightmare scenario for people who think that you have to earn your tattoos. Like people who talk shit about using numbing cream, this is just like their worst nightmare. And the researchers at Georgia Tech have miniaturized the needles. So apparently these micro needles are smaller than a grain of sand. So these are super tiny and technically the ones in the patch are not made of needles at all. So I'm not gonna lie, this took a while for me to wrap my brain around, but the researchers at Georgia Tech took the idea of microneedling and created microneedles that are made up of tattoo ink. And specifically, they say the microneedles are, quote, made of tattoo ink encased in a dissolvable matrix. So the researchers made some sort of teeny tiny dissolvable mold that the tattoo ink sits inside of, inside each one of these needles. And it can be grouped into pretty much any design you want. And then when it's pressed into the skin, that matrix dissolves. And then all you have left is the ink in the skin. So I guess technically saying that the microneedles are made of tattoo ink is kind of misleading because the needles are made of this matrix, but the tattoo ink is just sitting inside of the matrix. And apparently due to how tiny the microneedles are, there's also no blood that comes from this process as well. So it's bloodless, it's painless, and it only takes a few minutes to apply. So this is what the patch looks like. As you can see, it's very small. It kind of just looks like a band-aid. And then we have this photo of the patch super zoomed in and you can see the micro needles. And this is five millimeters. So you can see that the length of the micro needles is very small. I would say that's not even one millimeter in length. And they don't say exactly how many millimeters their micro needles go to, like they don't say the depth of the patches. But even just from this photo, you can see that these things are barely entering the skin. And then here's a photo of it having been pressed on the skin. And you can see it's kind of like a pixelated effect onto the skin. I wish they had like a zoomed out version of this so we can see like what it actually looks like. Like, I don't know what part of the body this is. And then they have this same one that is a heart. 
same thing a really cute kind of just comes in like a little it almost looks like a patch tattoo like those patchwork tattoos where people try to make tattoos look like stitches and patches on the skin kind of looks like that a little bit and then here is a version of the patch that you can see how tiny these little micro needles are and this one is filled with green tattoo ink instead of red like the ones we saw before and with these painless patch tattoos, there is really one huge difference between these and like a tattoo that you can go out to a tattoo studio and get. From what I've seen, it does not seem like this patch tattoo technique is depositing ink into the dermis layer of the skin. And I talk a lot about the skin layers on my channel, but I'm just going to say it one more time. The epidermis is your top layer of skin, below that is the dermis, and then below below that is the subcutaneous tissue layer. And tattoo ink does different things in each one of these layers. So with permanent, long-lasting tattoos, you want the ink to sit into the dermis layer, where it can stay for indefinite amount of years. The epidermis layer sheds over time, so that's why we put our semi-permanent tattoos in the epidermis layer. That's where cosmetic tattooing stays, and this is so that the tattoo fades over the course of a few years. And even the researchers said, quote, The study showed that the tattoos could last for at least a year and are likely to be permanent. But from the tests that they've done so far, it seems like the ink is sitting in the epidermis and will likely fade in one to three years. And the researchers did make sure to say that they're not trying to replace tattooing, they're just trying to make tattooing maybe a little bit more accessible, and especially accessible to medical patients that might need medical tattoos. And medical tattoos could be a variety of things, one of which being to replace bracelets if you have a serious medical condition like epilepsy or severe allergies. Or some people get medical tattoos to mark places on their bodies where they're getting repeat cancer treatments. So if you're going through all of that and you just don't want a normal tattoo in the normal way, like it makes total sense why someone would opt for this. And I don't really see how this could necessarily replace tattoos that we have nowadays. There's so much that goes into the process of getting tattooed, not necessarily just the pain, but working with an artist and having them create a design for you, talking to your artist during the tattoo appointments, like there's a lot of value in the process of getting tattooed that, yeah, it's painful, but I think the experience is worth what you do get in the end of the day. And the researchers did conclude by saying, quote, the goal isn't to replace all tattoos, which often are works of beauty created by tattoo artists. Our goal is to create new opportunities for patients and people who want a painless tattoo that can be easily administered. And I think that's great, like I said, for medical purposes. And it's also really great to see people just innovating in the tattoo world. I think that tattooing is changing a lot. There's robots that can tattoo you now. AI can design a tattoo for you. And all of it is really interesting, but I definitely don't see any of this as like a replacement for tattoos. Tattooing, the process of tattooing has been around for many thousands of years. And I don't think that it's going away anytime soon. But you all will have to let me know what you think about painless patch tattoos. Is this something that you would be interested in getting? I think I would definitely be interested in getting this just to try it out. Do you think if they made it go into the dermis that this could possibly replace actual tattoos? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you have, leave me this emoji in the comments so that I know that you are a real one. Bye everyone. Olive wanted to come and say hi. That was really good. Olive wants to be a part of today's video. Have you ever wished you could just stamp a tattoo on your body and be done with it?